Whistler is a community built around recreational experiences. Our vision is to be an inclusive, welcoming destination for everyone. We've come a long way since the 1980s when early efforts focused on temporary disabilities, such as skiing injuries. Through community collaboration, Whistler is evolving to become accessible to all, and we'd like to share our journey with you. And in the very beginning at Whistler here, the old, when everything was down in the creek, the accessibility was not an issue because not very many disabled people skied in those days. But as time went on and they built the village, uh, accessibility and inclusiveness was a big thing. So they first designed the village to be accessible. But accessibility in those days isn't the same as accessibility today. And they've, with this um, advisory group on accessibility, we've prioritized all the barriers in the village and we've started knocking them off. And I think uh, this could be one of the most successful games ever. And sure, someone could say, you know, it isn't perfect. Well, you can't make everything perfect, but we are very accessible. And I think we, as a community, we've done an excellent job of making this a more accessible Paralympics. Accessibility in Whistler has been shaped by those who live and play here in the mountains. John Ryan was one of the first people with a disability living in Whistler. He helped raise the profile of accessibility challenges by completing a cross Canada tour on a hand cycle bike. His effort was remarkable and there were countless other local heroes that have dedicated themselves to make Whistler inclusive to all, whether you are temporarily injured, a parent with a stroller, a senior, or a person living with a disability. As the host of the 2010 Paralympic Winter Games, Whistler sees the opportunity to build upon accessibility initiatives, showcase exceptional adaptive sports programming, and establish the resort community as the world's premier destination for athletes with disabilities to compete and to train. Back in 2002, in the bid phase for the Olympic and Paralympic Games, uh, we were approached by the bid committee at that time to help create a Paralympic legacy here in Whistler. Uh, they were looking for a grassroots organization to partner with and to ensure that some of the infrastructure that was being built would directly benefit sport in Canada in the long term. The Whistler Athlete Centre allows us to provide not just programming and a training venue, but it also has an accommodation component, which is very unique to Parasport. And to have an athlete's lodge attached to an athlete centre with a high performance centre that has all different sport partners operating together. It provides athletes from all over the world all of a sudden a chance to come to one single community, be embedded in that community and not just pursue their sport at an elite level but now they have all the different cross training opportunities as well with the accommodation in one single spot. We worked in partnership with the Whistler Housing Authority to ensure that the greatest number of accessible units were created in Checkins Crossing but not only to have the greatest number of units, but to create a system that individuals who need those accessible units could actually purchase or lease them. So it gives the individual the chance to stay permanently in Whistler at a low cost. Uh, well, it began in uh, June 1997 uh, when my uh, daughter Morgan was born and, uh, and it turned out she had some extremely severe disabilities uh, that she was born with. The, the challenges have been that Whistler has, you know, until recently been a place that if you were in a wheelchair or, or had issues um, uh, of mobility, it uh, was a place that you didn't stay. We lost our home, uh, an accessible home, uh, uh, almost uh, four years ago. We uh, have been in transition looking for a way to stay in Whistler. Chequemus Crossing became the absolute best choice, not perfect. Um, we're going to be able to uh, have um, our home uh, in, in Whitewater uh, uh, renovated and made uh, um, uh, safe for Morgan with her own uh, room, with uh, her own needs, and uh, so it's in the end, it's going to be um, it's going to be very good. One of the greatest advantages to adaptive housing is it reduces the amount of energy required for day-to-day -day living tasks, which means residents can focus more on enjoying the outdoors and having fun. This philosophy is also being applied to Whistler Village which has built and developed physical access initiatives such as ramp systems, designated access parking, and an accessible bus system. Equally important initiatives are those that simply help people with mobility challenges to find their way through signage, staff training, and access advice 
to potential guests interested in coming to visit. One of the most exciting initiatives is the inclusive play area, where children of all abilities will be able to play and interact together. Our hope is that everyone who comes to Whistler will feel that their needs have been thought through and are welcome in every place. The Mature Action Committee, and it's commonly known as MAC around town, uh, had its beginnings back in 1994, a nonprofit society, and, and uh, they were really initially and for a long time a, a lobby group to uh, establish seniors housing here in Whistler. We're really going in the direction of what we call independent, unsupported living. And uh, it uh, can be converted over to independent, supported living style where uh, assistance could be brought in in terms of meals and housekeeping and things of that nature. Uh, hallways, doorways and everything are generally wider. Uh, there's more space in bathrooms and kitchens and uh, in this respect it makes it much more accessible in the future in case somewhere along the way you need a wheelchair. So it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have to move. You can take your space and, uh, and make it work for you uh, longer into the future. Seniors are the fastest growing demographic in our community. Uh, they're very much the face of the community. When uh, our visitors come here, they make everybody feel welcome and, and they make an awful lot of things in this community work. Although Whistler has come a long way in improving accessibility, there will always be things that we can do better. Challenges such as snow and grit will continue to cause difficulties in the wintertime. Whistler's on a journey of access to all, but there won't be a tidy ending to our accessibility story in which all physical obstacles are overcome. Instead, our hope is that with constant debate, input and improvement, everyone, no matter their age, ability or goals, can participate and have fun.